Hey guys, so I am going to tell you about some books I've recently read and a book I DNF. So let's get the DNF out of the way. So I started reading Into the Storm by Taylor Anderson. This had a really cool premise. It's book one in the Destroyer Man series. Basically, um, it takes place, I believe, during World War II or something like that. Uh, the Americans are fighting the Japanese. I don't really know much about history, embarrassingly. Um, and during the battle, there's a big storm, and basically one of the American ships goes through like a portal or something. And on the other side, there are dinosaurs and these weird cat people. Um, so, oh yeah, it is World War II. So, it has a very interesting premise. The story is interesting. I made it to page 124, but the writing just is not for me. It's um, a bit te technical. Um, if you were in the Navy or the Army, you'd probably get more out of it than me, because there's a lot of slang and stuff that I don't really quite get. Uh, so it wasn't as uh, gripping of a read as I had, ho had hoped. I recently finished Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. This was a quick read for me. I gave it four stars. On the back here, the synopsis is very vague. It basically says that there are these two sisters that haven't talked for 20 years since their other sister went missing. Now, 20 years later, one of the sisters' husbands gets murdered, and so that brings them together, and then all these events unfold, and all these secrets come out, and... I thought it was pretty good. Um, there was a lot of detail f um, based around one particular character and so it, you could really tell that she put a lot of effort into writing this book. It wasn't just a fluffy thriller, there it goes kind of thing. I thought that it was engaging. Um, it was actually quite violent, which I didn't expect. From the synopsis, you wouldn't really think that it would be violent, but it totally was. And yeah, it was my first Karen Slaughter. So I think I will be reading more by her. She's definitely on the top there of the thrillers that I've read. If all her books have this much de attention to detail, then I think I will become quite the fan. Next book is Science Fiction Fantasy. Born by Jeff Vandermeer. This one was interesting in its own unique way. It's kind of like, um, well, it's science fiction, right? So there's elements of like biotech and things like that. But the main overall theme of the book, I believe, was motherhood. It takes place in a post apocalyptic dystopian world where these two scavengers, Rachel and Wick, uh, live together in what they call the Balcony Cliffs, which basically sounds like a big garbage dump that they tunneled through. And one day this big bear thing comes by and has like a sea urchin thing stuck to it and it falls off. Rachel picks it up, names it Born, and she watches as it grows and it eventually talks and it learns and it's just really interesting how all that went through. Now the writing in this one is a little bit more dense than I expected. I had to reread a couple of passages um, and the pacing is a bit off. It's a little bit slow. But the idea behind the story and the way it's executed is just really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I liked the villains, I guess you could say, in the story. Um, how there seem to be just normal people that have gone just a different path in life. And then there's also a little bit of like, um, well I don't really want to say because I don't want to give any spoilers. But it was an interesting book. Um, it definitely was one of those books that you could easily put down and not pick up again, unfortunately, but I'm glad I went through it all because, like I said, it was like a book about motherhood in a really strange environment. So I like that about it. 
So that's what I've been reading lately. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you've been reading and I hope to hear from you guys soon. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you later.